surprised a lot of you over the weekend. A tiger at the Bronx Zoo tested positive for coronavirus. Zoo officials say the animal contracted the virus from a zoo worker who was sick. And this got a lot of us wondering, are our pets at risk for contracting it? Our Gretchen Parsons looked into this, spoke with a vet, and is here to explain. Gretchen. Well, Mark, by the way, the chief vet at the Bronx Zoo, Dr. Paul Calle, he says everyone was shocked by that test result, and he added that this is very unusual, and the risk of animals getting this virus or spreading it is really low. And that's also what Tad Squires said. He's a vet at Hendricks Veterinary Hospital in Boise. But Squires also said there is still a lot we don't know about this virus. And as a precaution, limit your pet's interactions with other people outside of your household. And not just with sick people, but with anyone, as we now know that some people can have the virus and not exhibit any symptoms. Squires added that our pet's fur coats provide an additional layer of protection for them. But the virus won't live very long on the fur coat because it's more of a rough surface and it'll um, destroy the virus fairly rapidly. Now, how rapid that is, I don't know, but it doesn't live as long as it would on a smooth surface. Um, and having said that, because we just don't know a lot about the virus, um, I would say it's better just to not let people touch your dog at this point. Squires also says don't forget to clean your pet's harnesses and leashes. And if your pet is acting abnormally, like not eating, acting lethargic or vomiting, bring them in, bring the animal into the vet and vets are uh, considered essential, so they are still open. However, Squires says most clinics have scaled back their appointments and are only taking essential visits and surgeries, so that way they can limit their PPE use. They want to save those for doctors and nurses at our area hospitals. Mark?